So, this is a slide uh, that I uh, used earlier on when speaking about knowledge and, and our approach to uncertainty. So, you have this notion of pathways, a self-reinforcing trajectory of change, whose dimensions include the subjects as well as the objects implicated in that pathway, those looking at it as well as those performing it, enacting it, as well as, of course, the natural uh, correlates of that. Impl implicates social and natural phenomena. It implicates agency and structure, and I could go through a whole series of dichotomies, you already know my personality defect on these dichotomies. But these, what we're interested in, these self-reinforcing trajectories of change. And we were, we're speaking about a very wide range of phenomena, of, of ways of understanding, ways of viewing the world, imaginations, power relations, discourses, institutions, expectations, <coughs> practices, uh, values, technologies, intentions, and the physical world. So these are the kinds of things that STEPS methodology and individual methods in particular ways are going to seek to interrogate the things themselves, their scope, and how they relate to each other in particular settings. So it's very broad, very diverse. And I also showed these slides about knowledge, because what we want to do is we want to know about these phenomena we call pathways. And we're going to try and do that through the knowledges that are already extant a principal way of understanding these phenomena is to actually get a handle on often really implicit, tacit knowledges that exist out there in society, which are pertinent and salient to these questions we're asking, but are distributed in various ways that we've been discussing. So we're, the knowledges that exist are a primary resource. We're not going out there in the world as our main intervention to actually um, um, physically measure things ourselves as a body of researchers. There are natural science research that's very relevant to this, technical research that's very relevant to this, but we're seeking to integrate it and amass it. Although there will be occasions on which questions can be directly posed from this framework, which interrogate nature. And I think Michael uh, might touch on some of that in what he's going to say later. But our, our primary resource is the knowledge is already extant, but which are occluded by power relations, by cultural uh, uh, patterns and so forth. So there are these underdetermined realities, and now I've shifted from that systems language we used before, because we were relating there to some uh, conventional mainstream ways of seeing these things, and just made a slight move of body language to thinking about different perspectives have fo foci of interest among these indeterminate arrays of phenomena out there in nature and society. They focus on some things, and they place them in the scope of others. And there are these various cause effect perceptions, which I went through before, which differ. So we have all sorts of different things going on. We have the focus differs as between perspective. Knowledge is constituted partly, if we look at it in terms of instrumentally, in terms of understanding pathways. Different bodies of knowledge take a different focus on these phenomena. They do so within a different scope. They have very different notions of what we might call cause and effect, the way phenomena relate to each other. And they have different normativities. And again, all these things are part of what the methodologies, the methodology of steps uh, approach, needs to try to take account of. And in, in a way, as a form of accountability on our part, we do, we're not, we're not claiming to fully realise this challenge, but we are claiming to really be making a serious attempt to do so. And to that extent, we're accountable. If there's some ways in which it comes over that we're playing fast and loose with language, which maybe we're prone to sometimes as is uh, an occupational hazard in academia, then I, it would be very interesting to hear back from you guys what you think about that as well. So this is the frame. The subjects, the objects, the different framings, they've got normativities, they're ep epistemic and ontological. Each has, each is a kind of polar, a polar, um, it's not a, they're not Cartesian representations of the world, they're polar, they have particular foci, particular scope. So this language is attempting to generalise in ways that accommodate very different worldviews <coughs> in relatively symmetrical ways, such that we can encounter these different bodies of knowledge in ways that aren't overtly too biased or asymmetric in our attention. And the pathways, as I mentioned before, is the self-reinforcing 
uh, processes of change embodying all these factors, subjective, objective, 